GE Healthcare Life Sciences has partnered with NetBio to introduce the DNA Scan Rapid DNA Analysis System, a compact, fully automated rapid DNA system that analyzes DNA in less than 85 minutes. The system is designed for use in police booking stations or forensic laboratories for the analysis of reference DNA samples only. It is used with two accessories, the DNA Scan Biochip Set Cassette and the DNA Scan Collection Kit with NetBio Collection Swabs. The DNA Scan Rapid DNA Analysis System can run five samples simultaneously. The fully integrated DNA Scan Biochip Set Cassette contains all of the necessary components for DNA analysis. All components are stable at room temperature for six months, so there is no need for refrigeration or freezer storage. The specialized RFID-enabled swabs lock into the biochip set cassette to eliminate the potential for sample mix-up and to preserve chain of custody. The biochip set has multiple areas in which the steps of DNA analysis take place. Five sample chambers allow for five samples to be processed at once. The sample chambers are a part of the smart cartridge which contains all components for DNA purification. The integrated biochip contains all of the reagents to perform PCR, and the PCR chambers are where the target DNA fragments are amplified. The gel cartridge contains the separation medium and buffer. The instrument interfaces with the biochip set here. The cathode is here, and the anode is here, providing the electrical conductivity that drives the DNA fragments through the separation matrix. The DNA Scan Collection Kit contains all of the components needed to collect a buckle sample. The kit includes barcodes, a mailing envelope, an instruction for use, a pair of gloves, a NetBio biochip set swab, and an easy collect device. The DNA Scan system is shipped inside a secure transport case. The packaged instrument can be moved using a cart, or a four-person lift. Use a two-person lift to lift the instrument out of the case. The power switch is located on the back of the instrument. The instrument takes approximately 15 minutes to warm up before use. When the warm-up is complete, the touchscreen monitor will prompt the user to enter a secure name and password. Three attempts can be made before the system locks that particular user out of the system. Only the administrator can unlock a user, create new passwords, or create additional users. If the instrument remains inactive for five minutes, it will automatically go into standby mode. The instrument will remain in standby mode until the user presses either activate or shut down. After 180 minutes of no activity, the instrument will automatically shut down. Gloves should be worn at all times when collecting human samples. In order to run the DNA Scan Rapid DNA Analysis System, five NetBio swabs must be loaded into the DNA Scan Biochip Set Cassette. Collect all five swabs and be fully prepared to load the biochip set before opening it and removing it from its packaging. A DNA sample must be collected from a donor using a NetBio Biochip Set swab, which is a component of the DNA Scan Collection Kit. Only these swabs contain the RFID chip required for sample tracking and will fit securely and lock into the sample chambers. Lay out the contents of the kit onto a clean work surface and put on gloves. You may need an additional pair of gloves if the donor collects their own DNA. To collect the sample, select the NetBio Biochip Set swab and remove it from the packaging. Grasp the blue cap of the swab and pull it out of the protective tube. Insert the swab into the donor's mouth and firmly swipe the cotton tip of the swab six times up and down on the inside of the cheek. The cheek should protrude slightly during the collection. To prevent contamination, avoid touching the shaft or tip of the swab with anything except the donor's mouth. Replace the plastic tube over the swab and place a peelable barcode on the tube. Avoid touching the sides of the tube with the tip of the swab. If less than five samples are to be run on the system, 
insert blank swabs in the remaining sample chambers. It is recommended to take a second reference sample from each donor using the EasyCollect device provided in the DNA Scan Collection Kit. Collection of DNA reference samples using the EasyCollect device allows the user to archive and store DNA samples for later use, or to send the sample to the Central Forensic Laboratory for additional analysis. Each DNA Scan Biochipset cassette is enclosed in two layers of foil pouches. Place the package on a flat surface and, wearing gloves, carefully cut the outer foil layer along the short edge opposite the smart cartridge and then along one long edge. Remove the Biochipset cassette still in the inner foil pouch and repeat the cutting process again. Carefully grasp the smart cartridge. Place the biochipset cassette on the sample loading fixture supplied with the instrument. The smart cartridge end should be placed over the open space on the sample loading fixture. This will protect the detection window, which lies just behind the smart cartridge, from an unclean surface. Obtain the first sample to be inserted into the DNA scan biochipset cassette. Place the blue cap, which contains the RFID tag, into the RFID scanner on the front of the instrument. Enter the unique sample identifier. It is recommended that the user enter the barcode number on the sample tube as the sample ID number. Do not enter any personal information into the instrument. If a blank swab has been used in place of a sample, enter blank in the sample ID screen. To insert the swab into the biochipset cassette, Remove the protective plastic seal from the sample chamber and place the swab into the sample chamber. Push the swab in until the cap locks into place. Repeat the process for the other four swabs until the cassette is fully loaded. The RFID tracking performed by the system allows the user to place the sample into any sample chamber, so the user does not have to keep track of or record the placement of each sample, as there is a second RFID reader inside of the instrument that reads the RFID chip and determines which lane each sample was placed in. After you scan and enter the sample ID of the fifth sample, the biochip set access door on the instrument will automatically open. Lift the cassette from the loading fixture and place it into the instrument. The instructions on the monitor show the user the proper orientation of loading the biochip set, with the smart cartridge on the left. Notice that there is a guide where the chip goes in on the right side to ensure proper placement. Gently push the cassette about two-thirds of the way in, then use your thumbs to push it all the way in. Manually close the door and hold it down until it latches. Once the biochipset cassette is loaded into the instrument, the sample run will begin. A progress bar will be displayed on screen to inform the user how much time remains until the run is complete. When the laser is active inside the instrument, the laser icon will appear on the screen. At the completion of the run, the access door will open automatically and the user instructions on the monitor will inform the user that the run is complete and instruct the user to remove the biochip set. Wearing gloves, carefully remove the biochip set cassette and cover the pneumatic interface with tape. Handle and dispose of the used cassette according to state, local, or regional regulations. Close the access door on the instrument to complete the run. If Yes is pressed on the touchscreen monitor, sample loading instructions will appear in preparation for another run. If No, the user will have the option to shut down the system or reactivate it for another run. To shut down the instrument, select Shutdown. When the screen goes blank, Flip the power switch to the off position. The DNA scan rapid DNA analysis.